This is Sara Habdiselassi, a sustainable fashionista in Gothenburg. She is at home trying on various outfits in front of a mirror. I think I've been interested in clothes and fashion since I was quite young. And I used to love to be silly and wear a lot of different uh, stuff and like pretend to own a store or walk as a mannequin. Me and a friend went to like a car store, which is not very common to go to when you're that young. And I dressed up and pretended that I was a customer buying a car. So. <laughs> Sarah founded Klädoteket, a shop where you can lease clothes. She's on the tram on her way to work. I don't think everyone really know that they, they do express themselves by picking a certain outfit. When you go on a tram, for example, and you look at people, what they're wearing, and you think that that person didn't really care, they just put on something. I don't think everyone thinks, oh, today I want to tell a message, but it sends out some type of message what you wear, I think. Sarah arranges clothes in her shop. When I thought of fashion, I, I thought I was going to work for a big fashion company and maybe brand building or as a buyer or something like that. And I didn't really know that much about the backside of uh, the industry. When I studied fashion management at the School of Textile in Borås, we learned more about how the fashion industry actually looks like and how horrible it is. I felt really angry and also I didn't really believe that can this be going on in this world right now and is the fashion industry really like this? I got really affected by this and felt like I need to do something different. I wanted to change the system in some way but I didn't really know how. We wanted to create an alternative to consumers that wasn't like mass consumption and something uh, with more value and towards a more sustainable fashion industry. <laughs> and we created Kleroteket. Kleroteket is a fashion library where you can both lease and buy clothes and accessories. Sarah's two girlfriends join her in the shop. Sarah streams music via her smartphone. They all try on various clothes from the racks. They try the clothes in the mirror, they pose for each other jokingly, and they make funny faces to each other's and the camera. There is now a fashion show atmosphere in the shop. The main lights are turned off with only a few spotlights turned on. Sarah finally decides to wear a golden jacket. She's then seen outside the shop. It is night. The girls take a taxi and go to a karaoke club. The amount of products that are produced in this second right now, it's sick. Like the environment that are being polluted or so many people working under slave-like conditions. Fashion is bad in that way. But at the same time, fashion can also bring like a bigger meaning. It can bring joy. You can express yourself. When I got married, I wore this old dress that my mother's grandmother had. So, of course, fashion can also bring a lot of memories and mean something. The girls sing and dance in a private room at the club. I would love to change the whole fashion industry, but I know it's not possible. But by doing something, at least I can affect people around me. So I definitely think that people should just try to engage themselves in something that they believe in and then just try and see how it goes and not be afraid. Located in central Gothenburg, Klerotheke works as something of a fashion library. Here you can lease vintage and designer clothes. You can also buy items. At Klerotheke, Sarah provides her sustainable approach to fashion. This film about Sora Habteselassi and Klerotheke is brought to you by Sweden's official YouTube channel. It's an episode in the channel's documentary series, Stories from Sweden.